Hi YouTube, it's Lena and I'm here today with the Last Call Project Pan. I am doing this in conjunction with, I am doing this, oh well, this was created by, uh, I can't quite pronounce the name, it's TNKR Bell Rocks <laughs> and Mrs. Cillian Beauty over at Instagram. I will link them down below and I will link everybody that I know of that is doing this down below. So. The idea behind this project pan, I do it every year, is it's last call, coming closer to the end of the year. You want to get that last push for products to, you know, get out of the collection. They could be stuff you haven't finished in previous project pans, a la, you know, graveyard items. They could be just stuff you really wanted to finish by the end of the year. There's no theme. There's no huge theme on it other than just stuff you really want to finish by the end of the year. So it is rolling, or it can be rolling. I usually keep it rolling, but uh, it starts September 1st. I know that it's not September 1st, but I'm really close. <laughs> and it goes all the way to the end of the year. So uh, you start with 10 items. I actually have 11 due to something not finishing in the uh, Women Who Rock, even though I thought it was going to. I literally just did my nails today and one slid off just now. Now that is why I don't like using that easy peel base coat because sometimes when I'm least paying attention it slides right off and now I'm trying to remember what I'll say. Oh uh, yeah, uh, something didn't finish in Women Who Rock and I do want to get that done. I'm going to be working on it anyway so I decided to just toss it in here without replacing something else. So I'm bending the rules a little bit but it'll be okay. Anyways. Starting off, first we have a foundation. I am almost done with the foundation I'm currently panning. It's on its last legs and I'm pretty positive that I can get through this in like two months once I start using it. It is the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation. I do really like it. At least I remember really liking it. It's been a little while since I've worn it. Uh, I've only worn it a couple of times though. We're starting all the way at the top, but for some reason, I power through these CoverGirl foundations. Like, I don't know why. It's happened several times in the past, so. Next is a lip pencil. Now, I don't remember what Project Pan it was for, but Danny from Danny's Makeup mentioned that her lip pencil, her lip liner pencil, had a bubble in it that made it sharpen, like it made it, you know, go dull really quickly and have to resharpen. Well, this one by Kylie, this is really old. Somebody gave this to me as a kit as a gift when it was the original like lip kits. This one, you may not even be able to see it, but it has the same problem. It has a bubble in the actual product. So it gets flat really easily. So this is in the shade Court K. That is a swatch of it right there. But um, I know I could finish this as long as I actually wear it. I am not wearing lipstick right now. <laughs> my brain is a cluttered mess, I apologize. It's been a week. Uh, my husband actually has been sick the past week with some god-awful thing. I just knocked him on his ass, so... Yeah, it's been fun. But, uh, yeah. Gonna work on that. Next is actually a brow pencil. I didn't have any brow pencils for a hot minute there. And then I got, like, two through subscription bags and then I bought the NYX one because it is one of my favorites so uh, I only have this one and the NYX one left so I figured I would use them up this is the brand pink lips browed up in the shade medium brown it is all the way full I, I only used it once to review it for the box brow pencils are another thing that I go through pretty quickly especially these thin ones, which are what I like. So I have no problem with that. My favorite, one of my favorites at least, is the NYX. And you can always get that on sale or get like three for the price of two at Ulta and stuff like that. So that is the one I will probably stick with when I'm just purchasing them from now on. But I got this through a subscription bag and it's still pretty good. I like the NYX one a little bit more, but it's fine. Oh, I should probably swatch it. I mean, it's it's a brow pencil. It's not super exciting, but I will be working on it. 
Next is a little mini primer. Figured why not throw one in here. This is the Euphoria Pre-Game Daily Pro Protective Primer. Uh, this is how much it actually comes with. It's little bitty mini and it is still only about, a, and it is about a third empty. <laughs> That made me kind of mad when I realized that I have not used it. I thought about using it today and now I'm glad I didn't because I probably would have used the half of what was left up knowing me. There is only, I don't remember, there's only five mils in here. It's actually kind of small for even like a little mini primer. So that won't last me too long. Next is this. I will probably not get to this this month because the spray that I'm currently using for more setting my powder uh, has a little bit of life left in it and I have a mini that I want to finish up after that before I get to this but these Milani sprays I can get through pretty quickly there's not a ton of product in them I should probably tell you what it is it is the Milani replenishing facial mist in blueberry I bought this in I want to say 2020 maybe 2021 I don't remember it's when they had their fruit collections out it's completely full. It's all the way up to like here. And I had to fight to shine a light through here because this blue tape on the bottle is really dark and really thick. I had to like take my flashlight on my phone and like shine it through the white part up here to get any kind of visual on how much is in there. Okay, so uh, the final makeup product is the thing that I'm like adding in at the last minute. It is this. It is the Beauty Bakery Sweet, I don't know what the hell this says. I think it says Sweet Glaze Baking Spray, but it's impossible to read the script. But uh, yeah, sounds like there's nothing in it, but it's still spraying. So it literally might die the next time I do my makeup. So I don't know. It currently weighs 54 grams even, so we're just gonna keep going there until it finally runs out. Might only last me, like I said, you know, one to two uses. It might last me three months. I don't know at this point. I doubt it will last me three months because, like I said, it, it feels really light, but it has felt really light for, like, two months now. So, I don't even know. Another thing that is actually from the woman who rocked Project Pan, but I knew I wasn't going to finish this, so it was not a surprise to roll this in. It is the uh, same, like, Milani collection, actually. <laughs> so, it's just as old. It is the Milani Cherry Exfoliating Brightening Mask. I have been really enjoying this now that I've actually been using it. Uh, we are currently starting right here. You can see the progress marks from my former Project Pan. So I have been, I have done a ch big chunk of progress in like the last two months. But I didn't, qu I didn't quite finish it. I knew I wasn't going to finish it because once I get realized that I was like down to there, I was like, okay. I'm not going to finish it, but at least I've been using it and now I don't have a lot left. So hopefully a pretty easy thing to knock out. Next is something that was in my setting sprays. And then I looked it up and I realized that it was like a skincare facial mist. So I was like, oops, but that's fine. I was originally just going to use this as like my powder setting spray. But once I realized that it was actually skincare, I threw in the Milani. <laughs> Anyways, this is the Ulta Smart Skincare Solutions Watermelon Facial Mist. I know it says skincare right on the title, but I don't know what to tell you. Anyways, we are up to here. Still plenty of life left in that, but facial mist especially, I burn through. Like the one I'm using up right now, I've only been working on it for a month and it's like halfway done. <laughs> this is a little bit bigger than that one, but still. <laughs> Honestly, I will very much enjoy this one because it smells a lot better than the Pixie Clarity tonic thing that I'm using. Yeah, this smells like watermelon. It's great. I've been on a watermelon kick for like the past year or so, especially. Now I want everything I own to smell like watermelon. <laughs> I used to hate the scent of watermelon too. I don't know what happened. Next is actually something from the Essence Advent Calendar that I got last year, which I don't like. I've been looking to see if I can figure out what the one this year is going to be. There's one in the UK, because that's where Essence is from. It, well, it's from over in Europe. I'm not exactly sure what country it's from. But the UK has one out. 
And if it's that one, I'm not going to get it this year. I'm probably going to get something else. But this was in the advent calendar last year. It is the moisturizing hand cream. I don't think they actually make a hand cream, but you know, for advent calendars, they'll put a little one together. It is up to here. I have been using it a little bit here and there. I keep it at my makeup desk right now. But I'm almost done with the hand cream I'm using at my bedside. And once I finish that, this will go there and we'll be all good. Next is the Nicopy Micro Bubble Foaming Cleanser. It's a cute little piggy on the front that I hope you can see. Get a little bit of my light off of that for you. There you go. Uh, it's like down to here. I admit this is mostly what I use to clean my makeup sponge and my makeup brushes when I remember to wash them. It does work great on the face, don't get me wrong, but it's just I have so many face washes that rather than buy makeup brush cleaner, I just use facial cleansers that I have. They're gentle enough, they don't strip my brushes or anything. I actually have pretty good track record with them. So if you have a lot of facial cleansers that you need to use up, try using them on your makeup brushes. Now if you use something that's really stripping, don't use that on your brushes, but normally I use fairly basic cleansers. So, and finally, yeah, finally, I have this. It is the Sunday Riley Lighthearted Sunscreen in SPF 30. We are down to here. I know it's kind of weird to be panning a sunscreen in fall, but it's going to expire at the end of the year, so I need to use it the hell up. <laughs> so, yeah, just need to get this out. They don't sell this anymore, which is kind of a bummer because it was annoying to find a price for it. But not a lot of people liked this. And it's I've heard it's because that a lot of people get, like, a white cast or even like a violet cast from it. Just weird. I don't really get that when I use it. I'm sure like if somebody took a flash photo of me with it on my face, that would be different. It smells like sunscreen. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> yeah, so uh, better to go ahead and get it out rather than, you know, it expiring. So that is it. Hopefully I will come at you with an update around October 1st. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I do really appreciate it and hopefully I will see you later. Bye.